Gosh, thank you very much. Um, well, welcome everybody. Um, I actually uh, had a, a nice speech put together, but uh, I thought I'd just wing it because I think it's it's more general and, uh, genuine. I'm actually seated next to a, a childhood friend, Adrian Turner, who grew up three doors down from me, and we ended up sitting next to each other. Um, so that actually, you know, we were. I said, how how things been over the last 35 years? Um, but but all, what I want to do is just use my, my time to say, first of all, thank you very much for, for this award. Thank you to the judges for bestowing this honor upon me. Uh, I, I still feel as though I have to earn it. But it, it gives me the platform to be able to tell Australians, particularly young Australians, that they should uh, think big, uh, dream big, and anything is possible. Um, it's, a, it's a single planet. And Australians are uniquely prepared to to be able to take advantage of this new world that we're heading into. This is a new world where we can control not just atoms, but molecules within our bodies. We're not far from having medicines that can allow us to live uh, through our 70s and 80s without worrying about getting diseases of aging, cancer, heart disease, and even mental loss and dementias will soon be a thing that we don't have to worry about until possibly age 100 and beyond. And these are technologies that are being developed, not just in my lab, but around the world. So it's not just a question of if, but when this is gonna happen. So for Australians, it's a unique opportunity. Uh, for young Australians, there's never been a better time to be alive, actually. Uh, and I, I wanna be able to use this platform to tell young Australians to get out in the world, to use this unique culture that we have, the unique education, and the unique network that we have in this room and beyond to be able to just make the world a better place, which I think we all in this room strive to make. Um, and finally, I just want to say that um, as Australians, we, we're very different than any other type of nas nation that I've seen. One of the big things that we have as an advantage overseas as Australians is we're willing to take risks. We're willing to trust in our fellow human um, and what's the worst that can happen if we fail? We get to go home to the best country in the world. Thank you very much.